I just, I think the Lulu is a denial from Sneaky and Smoothie trying to prevent the strongest, you know, lane dominant and lane pressure based 2v2. River Brush. Now Contract makes his way onto Jeral, seeing if they're able to find the burst here. The stun, where's the feast? Jeral wanting to get himself away, pops off the nature's grasp. The Sejuani ulti comes through. Impact wants to get a big old bite out of him, but can't quite do oh, it. Oh, first blood goes to Jeral. Cloud9 with the mistake. We do see the rotations coming bot side. Lion Gaming bringing both Teleport in as well. and mid laner, as well as the top laner now with the TP. Sneaky's in some trouble, likely gonna be dropping here. No way to escape the one versus five. Say it grabs the kill, and Lion Gaming is off to the races. Just to continue to push, just to continue to pressure. So ultimately, that is a trade, but it opens the map up so much more. Say ya. Taking a lot of damage here from Jensen. Barely walks away from the ult. Just another day in the mid lane offense, except for uh -oh, this. Oh, Jensen now gonna be dumped. The power of the jungle coming in once again for Lion Gaming. That's definitely the case, of course, while stretching your own lead at the same time. Is it going on Jensen? Jensen again gonna be found out. White Lotus cashing in for the second time onto the Cloud9 mid laner. Summoner spells are all up and available, and so very difficult to make the place unless contracts just uh, walk in. Contracts with some interesting jungle pathing there. Not able to charge himself over the wall. Good body blocked by Adi. Tries to flash, but Jeral is right there with the nature's path <laughs> to make sure they find the kill. Adi just says the hell with it and jumps back over the wall with the flash. And Lion goes towards the Cloud Drake. And now they hang around. I don't know if they can make this play, but it feels like they really want it. All right, they're going to start things off. Sejuani ulti down onto Adi, and Jensen finds himself the kill. Cloud9 finally on the board, and they take the Tier 1 turret down along with it. We have seen some Togarts go towards Adaptive Helms, maybe third or fourth item. We've seen some not go Gargo or Stone Plate at all, but he wants to kill those carries. He wants to get in. And here we go. Here we go. Fight going to be breaking out onto the front line. Goes Contracts, throws down the ulti, not finding anybody with the stun. Immediately Smoothie getting himself rooted up by the ulti from the forest. And now Jeral makes his way into the thick of things. Going to be Wild Growth, but immediately flashes his way out of it. Sneaky. Sneaky's now finding the opportunity to fire onto some isolated targets. Shockwave not going to be coming up big this time. Sneaky grabbing the kill onto Jeral as Smoothie looks to refresh the fight with the Janna ultimate. Lion trying to get themselves out of this when they've lost the fight for now. We mentioned Cloud9's team fighting, and it shows up here. And I want to point out, the gold lead has shifted ever so slightly. It's the smallest of leads, but it is in the favor of Cloud9 now, even though they're down in turrets and kills. Now they're looking to start things off here onto Adi, who's going to be saved by the wild growth for now. Shockwave finding its way onto Contract, who's the first casualty of this fight. Impact going to be forced to flash out now as well. It's Cloud9 who committed go. the sins that Lion committed last time, and they go too deep. You talked about Bear and how that's always going to be a factor. And this right now, bush is the, literally where the game's being decided, it feels like. Impact going to be the target here by Lion. Contracts throwing out the ulti onto White Lotus, trying to disengage things here. Nature's Grasp fired off, finds its way only onto Contracts. Impact is isolated White Lotus by himself. Is going. Impact trying to get himself away from this one. Adi now going to be feasted upon. Impact, though, taken low and taken down. White Lotus found himself the killing spree as now Sneaky has to disengage. Jeral so tanky with his own gargoyle stone plate. That's another one for zero for Lion. So many things were used in this fight, except for the shockwave from Sayer. It is up, it is available. Oh, they're going right back into it. Jensen forced to flash out. Sneaky looking for the auto attack damage. Jeral on the front line looking to isolate Contracts, pulling him back in. Shockwave gonna drag him further back into the clutches of White Lotus. Contracts walks away. For now, Sneaky still very healthy. White Lotus still full HP. So much on these AD carries. 3-0 and 3 on the Varus. 1-1 one, one and 0 on the Zaya. Three items completed on both. Very, Fight tense. very tense fighting coming out of both of these teams. Sneaky is doing so much work. They caught Jensen out of position, it looked like, but his stun on the back end of that was incredible. Cloud9, they are teleporting in for this. Lion are going to match it. What a barren call by Cloud9. This is the kind of really, really interesting play that can make or break the game. Now Baron's gonna be below half HP. Jeral in the front line. Contract's gonna be tanking. Jensen needs to back away. Contract needs to back away. He cannot get out in time. They're gonna go back and to the Lion Baron. Lion has found the Baron leashed for them by their opponent. Cloud9, now they're the ones who have to stop this. Very salty misses. Chains of Corruption not finding the mark means a lot of CC not available on the side of Jerome's Lion. still doing the Baron buff as well. This is just the biggest bait of all time. They have to back away. Nobody has anything up and available. This the brush bush. means that we're gonna have a fight. We'll just have to see who ends up going in first. Contracts take some poke there and 
Now it's Jerrall who gets Jirol. caught out. Nature's Grasp comes flying through, finds its way onto a couple of different targets. Jensen with no flash. Remember, he used it in the last fight. Jerrall going to be the first one down. Shockwave onto Jensen. If they can take him down, that is going to be huge. But White Lotus now going to be silenced. Knocked up into the air. The damage coming through. The stun lands. But Adi is running interference. Saya grabbing the kill onto Impact. It's a double kill for Contract. The knowledge game lies with Lion. Cloud9 getting those side lanes pushed out now. Impact Audi. the bottom lane is now Smoothie going to be jumped on. Adi looking to start this fight up. They know Cloud9 is only three strong. They and they're able to find the kill onto one. Now can they make it two? Contract's forced to flash over the wall, keeping himself alive, but it's still a one for zero fight going the way of Lion. Good trigger pull there, recognizing the fact that they had a huge numbers advantage. Five ultimates used, however, for just the one kill onto Smoothie means that as they push in, as they look towards controlling Summoner's Rift for the Baron specifically, I feel like C9 can still walk in. I feel like they can still fight for this, but they've committed. They're doing it. Baron is at half HP, Rusty. Here we go. Cloud9's got to make They're their good. move, but it's already done. Lions have got the objective. Now they might be able to find the attack here onto the rest of Cloud9, grabbing onto Impact. He pops the stone plate, has to try to get himself away, pops the beast before he dies, should drop. And Adi puts the flag on the corpse and walks away. And now we find ourselves in this position where C9 actually a bit on the back foot, but they're not. They're just going to push in, apparently. Flexing their muscles in the enemy jungle, trying to get something out of this, but they may just end up losing their own jungler. Contract's trying to run away, but the Nature's Grasp locks him down and takes him out. Sneaky. Not quite having enough damage to return the favor as Cloud9 loses yet another for nothing. And but it is something that they can use to leverage this advantage along with this huge minion wave. Jiral and Seiya not stopping. White Lotus and Genthix now brought in as well. Tier 3 demolished. They've got this. Jensen's not even rotating. He has no mana. He's just going to recall. Free inhibitor for Lion. Lion, they're not going straight towards the Elder Dragon just yet. They're setting up the vision, but most importantly, they're pushing bottom lane. They're just going straight for this Tier 3. White Lotus only needs one more auto attack. Already found it. Taking this one down now so they can fight on the inhibitor if they want to. Nothing really there to protect Cloud9. Remember, super minions are they're already looking the top at part it. of the base. Say the target of contracts. Ulti not really finding a lot Malachi's there. Right now. Ulti. Contracts, the one who's taking a lot of damage. Ulti also coming out from the It's Durant. all zoning. They want to get the Elder. They're still trying to get it. Redemption comes down. Cloud9 still maybe looking to take the fight, but it's Adi who's able to lock three into the pit as now he's soaking the damage. Impact here on the front line, taking a big fight out of the Jarvan. Finds the kill now as White Lotus gets himself stunned up. More damage coming through. Jensen not quite able to find the kill on that one. His contracts goes for Saya. Not quite able to do it. The heal from the Janna will not be there. White Lotus Whoa, still Jerome. trying to take that Elder Drake as Jerrall's going to be taken down closely next. Nearly falls. He's trying alive. to find his way with the twisted advance as Sneaky gets the Elder. Genthix looking to take the Blast Cone to get himself away to safety. Cloud9's base is just being absolutely bonked this whole time. They've got to go back and sit. I'm seriously impressed with Lion's ability to do this. There's a lot of times, even in some of the larger regions, where you see teams not be able to lead their opponents around from a macro perspective that and way. And then back to the Baron buff. It looks like Lion still want to go for this. Well, Nine trying to go for Adi here, forces him to flash away. Baron still at one-third HP. If C9 they can't now do it, engaging from it, Lion still win the map. Look at top, look at bottom on the mini map. The minions that are pushing in. Lion just want to not fight and control the mid lane. C9 has to. Contracts tries to go for the ulti instead, finds it between the goal posts of Seiya and White Lotus. Not what they wanted to see on that with a shockwave coming down onto the Cho'Gath. Impact flashing away. Stun out on Jeral by Jensen. Oh, they got Jensen. Adi goes in, catches him out. Jensen forced to flash. Big summoner spell cooldown. And Cloud9 have to go defend their base. They have no choice. Lion should get a free Baron for this. You're looking at contracts perhaps for the steal. If all of Cloud9 hang around, then they run the risk of losing inhibitors. They're all here except for Impact. He has the teleport. Oh, this fight's gonna turn real sketchy but real quick. Baron down to one it. quarter. Cloud9 now finding themselves here in the pit. Impact and Contracts both hanging around. Jensen over the wall as well. Impact grabbing the secure onto the Baron with the Cho'Gath Feast. But now where does the fight go from here? Sneaky's gotta be careful. He can't afford to walk into a shockwave. Contracts on the front line. Gargoyle stone plate to keep himself alive a little bit longer. Jensen down below half HP. Impact, Impact, Impact is still stuck in the pit. He secured the Baron for his team, but he's going to be the sacrificial lamb as the minions pour into the Cloud9 base. They take down the bottom lane inhibitor. The teleport into the top lane. It's two inhibs down for Cloud9. And a big flank from Jeral. Jeral shows up. He's got very little mana here on the front line. He might be able to lock down Sneaky the Shockwave. Not going to be finding anyone just yet. Sneaky's going to have to find an immaculate amount of damage in this fight. Lion looking to push up into the Cloud9 base. 
Jensen gets himself taken out by Jensen. As Jeral barely walks away, Contracts now surviving the damage from White Lotus. One dead on the side of Lion, but they do get the two inhibitors thanks to the minions. Top wave has pushed in. They saw Jensen deal with the minions. They saw to, Oh, that was a Ooh. lot. Big root onto White Lotus. Contracts ulti just barely going to be missing out on that one. Jeral trying to get himself away. Fires off the nature's grasp. Wants to use it as a disengage mechanism, but now Lion might see their opportunity to put the last couple of hits oh, no. onto the mid lane in here, but they're not quite able to find it. Cloud9 may want to defend this, but they've got to be careful about the fact that Contracts is hurt going into it. That's one no auto minions attack. pressuring in the base right now, and Lion gets what they came for. Yeah, so that's all three inhibitors gone. However, how long it took to get that inhib means that the rest will probably spawn pretty soon. Sneaky's also rotated. Cloud9, they don't want the other oh, to go. No. Contracts is way too close. He's going to be singled out and bursted down before he can do much of anything. The shield going to be giving him alive. Still alive. Body now here in the pit trying to defend, be the front line of Team Lion. But Sneaky's able to find free firing time. Jerome now going to be the tank. Nobody dead so far. Cloud9 still looking to make this fight happen. The root out on a Jerome White Lotus. They got him. Goes down to Jensen's burst. And Jensen comes up with a hero play. Cloud9 still with no health to their names. No Warmogs on the Choker. He has teleport. He might want to recall. The waves of hell the inhibs are up. hanging around. Side lane inhibitors back up for Cloud9. Audi over the wall. May look to go in. Steal this with the blast cone. Comes over the a wall. Reset. The Drake may reset here. It does slightly. Audi has to go back with the flag and drag. Cloud9 pulling the Drake out yet again to make sure they secure it, and they do. Baron should go down rather rapidly. Lion recognizing this, wanting to get themselves in here. Cloud9 not going to back away this time. Sneaky secures the Baron, but can Cloud9 Baron's get themselves away? Well. Both tanks going to be locked down. Stone plates pop to try to make this exit as gracefully as possible. Audi on the front line trying to keep impact locked down. Sneaky getting himself away along with the rest of Cloud9. And nobody drops this time. Now the push is on. The question is, do Cloud9 react to this fight? They don't push mid lane. It looks like they want it. There's a large minion wave bottom side for Lion as well. Lion likely recognizing this. That's why they're making this fight happen now. Jensen losing three quarters of his HP to the combo from Seiya. However, that means the shock wave cannot be used in the upcoming fight. Positioning now, much less of a concern for Cloud9. They don't have to worry about walking into those. Audi flag and drag over the wall to keep himself safe. Cloud9, they realize there's that many minions in their bottom lane. They're pinging it right now. They're saying, look, it's time to do so or die. To deal with we it. say do. Cloud9 starting up the Baron. Got it down to about half HP. Nature's Grasp comes out from the Maokai, trying to lock these guys down. Contracts jumping in. The QSS Finds was the back. Ulti, but the QSS was back up. White Lotus going to be kept alive for now. Tanks on the front line doing exactly what their namesake says. Jerol and Audi trying to stay alive, but the first kill goes to Sneaky. Sneaky's damage is incredible. It looks like Cloud9 with the reset of Smoothie's ultimate. They're not respecting the base. It is starting to die. One inhibitor's gone, but they're back on the Baron. Look at Audi. Cloud9 trying to take this Baron. Their base is being taken apart, though. They've got to make sure they finish this off cleanly. Baron down to about 3k HP. Audi comes into the pit, but it's secured by Contracts. Audi likely going to drop here as a result of jumping there into the pit. Now Sneaky on the killing spree. They're fighting the kills on the Lotus and Genthix as well. It's one man versus the world. Seiya stands alone. Still the triple kill for Sneaky. Teleport there from Impact. They are not looking at defending their base at all. They want to end this one right now. Four people dead for a very long time. You would have to imagine the Cloud9 can do this. As long as they walk in one minion, Seiya's got Rogue. Seiya knows that he cannot defend one versus five. He's he is going so for the rogue. outplay. Cloud9 has one minion there. Seiya trying to flash, clear these minions out of the way, but it will not be enough. 61 minutes into the game, and Cloud9 finds the win.